using multi-passphrase encryption to protect your Trezor wallet. In addition to a PIN, you can also set a passphrase on your Trezor. This protects your Trezor from hardware attacks even if stolen and the chip is inspected under a microscope. Your passphrase can be any word or set of letters that you want to use. You should be able to remember it, but you should not write it down anywhere obvious. Since you need to enter the passphrase into the computer you use with your Trezor, you should not disable the PIN as the PIN is not directly entered into the computer. Key logging programs may be able to get your passphrase, they cannot get your PIN. However, if your passphrase is lost, you cannot recover your wallet. Do not forget your passphrase. Your seed will not be able to recover the account without the passphrase. When you use multiple passphrases, you protect yourself from someone trying to beat the passphrase out of you. You can set two or more passphrase accounts. Load a tiny bit of crypto onto the first passphrase account, which you use as your spoof password to give to would-be criminals, and load the other passphrase account with the bulk of your crypto. Here I am at wallet.trezor.io. I'll plug in my Trezor. I'll enter my PIN number. 8, 6, 4, 2. Click Enter. My Trezor wallet loads up. I'll click on Edit Device Basics. And then click on the Advanced tab. Here I find Passphrase. Passphrase encryption allows you to access new wallets, each hidden behind a particular passphrase. Your old accounts will be accessible behind an empty passphrase. If you forget your passphrase, your wallet is lost for good. There is no way to recover your funds. I'll click on OK, I understand, and then click on Enable Passphrase Encryption. It tells me to confirm passphrase encryption. I'll click the button under Confirm on my Trezor. It tells me to disconnect your Trezor to enable passphrase. I'll unplug my Trezor, and then plug it back in. I'll enter in my PIN number again. Click Enter. Now I can choose a passphrase for a new account. I'm going to click on Show Passphrase so you can see, and then I'll use CryptoMind as my passphrase. Then I'll click Enter. This creates a new account for me under the passphrase CryptoMind. If I go to Receive, you can see my addresses. My first primary address starts with 39CK. This address and the rest of the addresses on this account will be different from the default account that I have without a passphrase. The same goes with all of my other crypto accounts under this passphrase. They will hold different addresses than my other account or accounts. Now if I want to add another passphrase account, I'll just disconnect my Trezor and plug it back in. Now I'll enter my PIN number again, 8642, and click Enter. Again it asks me to enter passphrase for my Trezor. So I'll use safe money for this passphrase. And I'll click Enter. Now it loads my account and shows me my address, primary address on this account. I can choose other addresses and they are different from the addresses on my CryptoMine passphrase protected account. So I would load a little bit of Bitcoin, a little bit of crypto onto the CryptoMine account and then I would fill this account up with the rest of my crypto or vice versa. That way if an attacker tried to beat my passphrase out of me, I would give them one passphrase and protect the one that has all of my crypto on it. I'll disconnect my Trezor again and plug it back in. Enter my PIN number again. Click Enter. And this time I'm going to choose no passphrase. This is my default account, the account that I had before I enabled passphrase encryption. So I still have access to that account. If I had any funds in any of these wallets, they'd still be there. And again, all of these addresses are different than the addresses under my CryptoMind passphrase protected account or my Safe Money passphrase encrypted account. So this is the safest way to protect your treasure, to protect your money, to protect your investment. Here I am at myetherwallet.com 
and I can use my passphrase encrypted accounts on here also. I'll click on View Wallet Info, select Trezor, and click Connect to Trezor. Now it asks me to export my public key. I'll click Export. Now I'll enter my PIN number, 8642. Click Enter. And here it asks me for my passphrase. So I'll type in CryptoMind. Click Enter. And now it shows me the Ethereum addresses associated with this passphrase encrypted account. I'll choose the first one. We can see it starts with 0x23. This will be different than the addresses under my other passphrase connected account or non-passphrase account. I'll go back to View Wallet Info. Click on Trezor, connect to Trezor, export my public key. I'll type in safe money this time for my passphrase. Click enter, and it shows me my addresses. I'll click on the first address, unlock my wallet, and this address starts with 0x60. So you can see that these are different addresses than the addresses under the account CryptoMind. I'll go back to View Wallet Info again. Click on Trezor. Connect to Trezor. I'll export my public key. Click on Export. I'm not going to use a passphrase this time, so I'll just hit Enter. Choose the first account. And this account starts with 0x7a. Again, different than the accounts under my CryptoMind or Safe Money passphrase protected accounts. So I hope you liked the video. I hope it helped. And thanks for watching.